Today, I have a simple challenge to buy every single component I need to build a game PC from Best Buy. It'll be better than Walmart and Etsy and you eBay. You say that now, my friend. You say that now. So they definitely have CPUs. We have a 3700X, a uh, 10850K. So we can do pretty much anything Intel. Or we have a Ryzen 5 3600 or a Ryzen 7 3700X. I actually kind of think we might want to go Intel on this because that i5-10400, that's only $160. So are you going for value? We could build a lot of different kinds of PCs at Best Buy, but the question is what can we actually get our hands on? The hard part's going to be the graphics card, right? Yeah. So if we can find a high-end graphics card, we should go for a high-end system. My guess though is this can be really difficult to find a GPU, which means that we may want to go for a more budget option. I'm going to say I'm going to throw an i5 in the cart and I'm going to throw a Ryzen 5 in the cart and we'll decide on which one we want to actually go for. Let's try motherboard. Okay, so we can find a B550 board for $150. That actually looks pretty good. There's a B550 for $94. That actually is a good deal. It's a micro ATX, but that's fine. 95, 94 bucks? Yeah. All right. So let's go, let's go Andy with this. Between motherboard and CPU, we're at $294. All right, should we go for a case? So they have an H510 for $69. Nice. Oh, here we go, a thermal take level 20. That's got three RGB fans pre-populated in the front. That actually looks pretty decent. Looks good. 100 bucks, sign me up. Let's find 16 gigs of RAM. All right, LPX, 82 bucks. Um, Vengeance, oh, you can get RGB Pro, actually. There's actually a fair bit of stuff here, though. Although we should, no, we should get the RGB Pro, huh? It's $99, it's only 3,200 uh, megahertz, but that's fine. That's actually not a terrible price. I've seen them b below and above that. I think you're you're actually that, right on the money fine. with that. I'll spend an extra $10, basically, to have the RGB. Wait, hang on a second. Get expert advice from a blue shirt. Let's chat. It's a virtual agent. Oh, oh, I'm talking with someone. I'm talking with someone. Uh, I want to build a gaming PC, but it's gotta be able to play Fortnite. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I need to play Fortnite. Let's see if Best Buy can help me. What graphics card should I buy for Fortnite? Um, he hasn't responded though. Nick. Nick, I need Come my on. Fortnite graphics card. <laughs> Wait, should I just look up graphics cards by myself? Do you think do you think that's what Nick is doing right now? He just searched the word graphics card? Yes. The amount of times I've been into a Best Buy only to have the Best Buy employee go to bestbuy.com on their phone to look up stock. Oh, mm, unavailable, unavailable, uh, sold out. <gasps> An RX 580 for $390. Wow, that was retail. No, I don't even think that was retail. Dude, an RX 580, you could regularly find for less than $200. Oh my God, that's awful. Oh, Nick's typing, Nick's typing, Nick's typing. Nick, hook me up. I need a graphics card right now. I've checked and found the best graphics card. I will help you with the link. Here's the link, click the link to view. And it is a RX 580 for $390. <laughs> Nick! He did the same thing. I told you. Nick, that's so expensive. Ah. Is there anything cheaper? That's a lot of money. <laughs> Okay, he found me a 1030. Oh, he's, predi Nick. he's predictable too. Nick! Wait, apparently I purchased this graphics card in 2017, according to Best Buy. All right, well Nick, thanks for nothing. So it does show that some of these graphics cards are available in store, but they're unavailable here, right? So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna purchase all of the components we have in the cart, which is everything we need for the PC build, except for the graphics card. We're gonna go to Best Buy in person and see if we can track what we need down. And when we inevitably fail, we are going to spend a lot of money on a really old graphics card instead. So like a plan? Yes. This video is sponsored by Synology. Now, if you're like me, you may have your photos backed up online, which is great right up until the point where they start charging you for it, imposing caps, or worst of all, you lose access to your account. And don't get me started on if you don't have your photos backed up to begin with. That's exactly where Synology's NAS solutions come in. With this, there's no subscription fee, you actually own your data as opposed to trusting some cloud everywhere. And on top of that, what's nice about it is that you have easy access to your content not only on your local network, but also via an app, and you have that built-in redundancy with Synology's Hybrid RAID. If you have important data, whether it's photos or anything else, you should absolutely have your ownership of that data to make sure that you always have a safe copy. That's exactly where Synology comes in. So definitely be sure to check them out at the link in the description and thank you very much to Synology for sponsoring this portion of the video.
710 and Chino. That is not gonna work. Yeah, I don't think so either. Best Buy number two. I found a huge improvement. Two GT710s, not just one. So we're trending in the right direction. Okay, number three, and we've seen, again, just two 710s. I'm not ending today with a 710. I'm not gonna do it. How desperate are you? Very desperate. I need a graphics card. Follow me. Now, I'm not gonna call this cheating, okay. but at the no. front of every Walmart and Best Buy, you have a, a wide selection of gift cards. We can't just get a gift card. They stopped so, doing this. Right. Number four. And we have nothing. However, if you look up here, they have a cyber power. It's a Ryzen 5 system. It has an RX 580. Now it's an $850 system, but if I steal the graphics card out of it and then turn around and flip the other components, that's gonna be about the same price as if I tried to find a 580 anywhere else. And this is, out of all the Best Buys we've been to today, the next best thing to just straight up buying a GT710, which I will not do. I'm not condoning you to go out there and go to your local Best Buy and spend $850 on a pre-built but that's what I'm doing right now. Judge me all you want. Okay, let's see what we were able to get from our friends over at, oh, Best Buy, that thing is heavy. <sighs> we're still building a PC, don't get me wrong. We have a gaming PC right here, but we're just taking parts out of this to build a gaming PC because that's better than using a GT710, am I right? And I'd like to point out that a lot of the things that are listed here on the side that are in this PC are also... <laughs> the things that we purchased? Yeah. Oh, it actually gets worse. Some of the components that we ordered from bestbuy.com did not actually arrive, so we're actually gonna end up like taking a fair bit from this. <laughs> but it's okay, we'll get to that part later. Let's see what we actually have here. Oh. It's gonna be funny when this case is actually nicer than the one we purchased, but I doubt it. That is actually one of the most like outdated looking designs I think I've ever seen in my life. A little bit. So, okay, good news here. They've got actual padded foam inside. So this is what we've been using when we ship out our PC builds recently. It's the, the heat uh, activated one where you basically you pop it, you put it in and it expands. It actually does a really good job of protecting it. Oh, oh, mm, mm, oh okay. Uh, a bunch of emotions here. So um, we do have a couple of uh, fans on the front. We have a Cooler Master Cooler sub variety, which actually looks to be pretty decent. Uh, of course, we have our 580. One thing I'm not a huge fan of is the fact that they definitely shipped us eight gigs of RAM in single channel. That's about the bare minimum that you would want to get away with. You really do want something like at least dual channel and a little bit faster, but I mean, this is fine. Um, this board is actually better than I had expected though. Dude, hold on a second. This is an 80 plus gold 600 watt EVGA supply. Wait a minute, this is good. To the point where we have other components, right? So in fact, I'll grab some of the other stuff. So we have a 700 watt supply, but it's an 80 plus white. This is not as good as the supply that is in our system. Return it. We shouldn't use that. Yes, we do have a couple of things. Like we do have a 500 gig SSD instead of the 240 gig SSD on that and the two terabyte hard drive. And we certainly have much better memory, right? We've got 16 gigs of 3600 or 3200. But if you notice, there's something missing in our parts bin here. Um, that would be a CPU. They attempted to deliver it, uh, but they attempted to deliver it here at the office at nine o'clock at night. And when no one was here to sign for it, they brought it back to Best Buy, automatically canceled the order and gave us a refund with no attempts to re-deliver or pick up or anything. It just was immediately canceled when no one was here at nine o'clock at night. Okay, so now I think it's time to cut to a montage of us tearing apart a perfectly good system and rebuilding it in a very slightly better way. <laughs> I've never been so defeated by something that's good news.
And so my friends, we have it. The Best Buy Gaming PC Special. Inside the system we have the Ryzen 5 3600. We've got an upgrade B550 motherboard as well as 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB memory, two SSDs and a hard drive. 650 watt gold power supply, a very stylish chassis, and what I would argue is a very competently built system. Lots of hard work from us to take apart a cyber power and rebuild most of it in a new system, am I right? This Look is the most first world way to build just an average PC that we could have just bought. Unless you wanna go with that GT710 that we found at every Best Buy on the West Coast, then this is actually a reasonable way of going. And let's not forget, we've got eight gigs of VRAM on that RX 580. It might be old, but it certainly has some performance. I will now show you what that performance looks like with a handy game of F1 2020. This is kind of crazy how old the RX 580 is. I know. And that it's still being sold in pre-built right now. Dude, so the thing is, the reason that the CyberPower PC even exists is because I think CyberPower, at least I was told that CyberPower was actually sitting on a bunch of their old 580s, and they're like, oh, well, we might as well just sell these and get them out the door. But I don't think they had anticipated just how expensive GPUs were really going to be. So the 580 is certainly an older graphics card. But the thing is, especially for games that are not Black Ops, you actually can get pretty decent performance, especially if you're playing at 1080p. 60 FPS should be pretty doable in most games. Like right now, I'm playing on ultra high settings, 1080p. We're getting what, 85, 90? No, that's even 100 frames per second there. 100 frames per second, pretty good. That's like hitting consistent too. And we're playing on a 1080p 144Hz monitor, right? With FreeSync, so there's a lot that you're getting out of this. All right, next up we have a game of Valorant, which really should suit the strengths of this PC nicely. Now, the way we've got this set up, 1080p, pretty much max settings. Look, I'm under no illusions that this is gonna be a difficult game to play. But Valorant is, I think, one of the better examples of a game that would make a lot of sense on a system in that $800 price range, theoretically, right? The 580 has no problem running this at uh, 200 frames per second or so. It's actually run around a little bit, but 260, 270, and well, a hallway. So Austin, I have a question. Go for it. Do you think with how much $800 is getting you right now, and probably even more so, like with the fact that everything's so jacked up. Yeah. Is a gaming laptop a better idea? Yo, should you just buy a gaming laptop? That's actually not a bad idea. Um, it depends, right? I mean, sometimes gaming laptops can be pretty reasonably priced. Like I think specifically about the Asus Zephyrus, the G14, that is a laptop which is about a year old now, but I mean, that thing has serious power. I mean, it's got a 2060 inside, and you would be able to easily play at 1080p settings and then some, right? Obviously, you're always gonna be giving up a little bit by using a laptop instead of a desktop. I mean, certainly you don't have the expandability. You're gonna lose a little bit on like the CPU side. But generally speaking, that's actually not a crazy idea. Something like a G14, a little over $1,000. I mean, that might be a better move. Although, it sounds fun to build a laptop. Unless you're watching This Is, in which case, we build laptops all the time. You're subscribed, right? Haven't you rang a -lang the dang -a -lang bell? Oh my God, oh my God, this hurts, this hurts, <laughs> this hurts so much. How are you getting away with all of this? So should you buy a game PC at Best Buy? Maybe. Should you build a game PC at Best Buy? Not right now. There's no scenario in which you should try to buy using purely new parts a game PC at Best Buy. Maybe if you're able to find a pre-built and do what we did, but even that, the value proposition gets really sketchy based on what kind of system and what kind of GPU and price you're paying. But thank you very much for watching. Make sure to ring-a-ling that ding a ling bell, subscribe to the channel. Until the next time we try to build a game PC at Target, thank you very much for watching. We're not actually doing that. It's actually not it, You can't do that. You really you can't. Do that. No, that's... You just can't.